Good afternoon everyone, this is our uh, first essay number one called the problem them in quarter two. So, it says here a triangular painting has following angle measurements. The measure one is equals to 4x minus 3, measure two is equals to 15x plus 11, and the measure three is x minus 4. The lengths of the two sides are 5p and 7p. What is the value of x? The value of x is 8. So what is the measurement of each interior angle? The first step is the measure 1 is 29. The measure 2 is 131. And the measure 3 is 20. Now, what, what is the measurement of each exterior angle? The, the, the number 2 is the interior angle. Now we talk about the exterior angle. Now in here is measure number 4 is equals to 151. And the measure 5 is 49. And the measure 6 is 160. What are the possible values of the third side of the triangle? So it's C is equal to 8.6 feet. So here is the step-by-step -step explanation. Here is the question. What is the value of X? First step. Measure 1 plus measure 2 plus measure 3 is equal to 180. Now we need to transfer the measure into a number. So it will be 4x minus 3 plus 15x plus 11 plus 3x minus 4. And it's equal to 180. The next thing, the second step will be to transform the x of the 3x here. And the and we have to um, transfer this 2 of this negative 3 and 11 to this. 180 plus 3 minus negative minus 11 plus 4. So here, so the third step is we need to add first the x. So 4 plus 15x is 19 plus 3x is equal to 22x. So what happened here is... We subtracted the x first, and now let us subtract and add the numbers of the right in the right side. One hundred eighty plus three is equal to eleven plus four. Okay, no negative minus eleven plus four. So one hundred eighty plus three is equal to one hundred eighty-three. Then we have to subtract it in eleven. It will become one hundred seventy-two plus four is equal to one hundred seventy-six. So again, we need to cancel the 20. Now we need to go to next step, which is we need to cancel the 22. And now let us divide the 176 divided by 22. So what will happen here is we divide into 8. So the value of x is 8. Now we need to substitute the x to the given angle measurements. The measure one is 4x minus 3. So 4 times 8 times 3 is equal to 29. That is a simple. Now the measure 2 is 15x plus 11. What will happen there is we put the same numbers in a different orders. We need to copy the numbers and then we have to put the 8 inside of the parentheses. So 15 times 8 is equal to 120 plus 11 is equal to 131. The measure 3 is 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Negative minus, 20, minus 4 is equal to 20. Now, the next step is exterior angle of the measurement, which is the measure 1 plus measure 4 is equal to 180. The happen here is 180 minus 29 is equal to 121. What happened? We found the measure 1 of 180, then we found the measure of the 29. Okay? So, it become 151. The measure 4 is 151. Now, the problem of the measure 2 is 180 minus 131. Why do we get this? Because we get the 131 on the measure 2 in the interior angle, and we transfer the 131 into an exterior angle, and we have the 180, the same number that we have, is equal to 49. So, the measure 5 is the 49. The next step is measure 3 plus measure 6 equal to 180. The measure 6 is 180 minus 20. So the same numbers of 180, we need to copy it to the, side, to the right side. 
and then the 20. We need to subtract it. It's equal to 160. And now the 160 plus 120 is equal to 180. Now here it is. Here's the question. What are the possible values of the third side of the triangle? So we, we call it the Phytogeronian theorem. Now it's called a square root. So a raised to 2 plus b raised to 2 is equal to c raised to 2. Okay? So we can assume in that a equal to 5 feet and b is equal to 7 feet. Alright? Now, we need to square root the c so we can find the solution. The c is equal to square root of a raised to 2 plus b raised to 2. Now, now you notice that if there's an, there's no numbers in here in the top, but if we put the 5 and the 7, we need to remove these letters, the A and B. So A and B will become 5 and 7. So C is equal to square root of 5 raised to 2 plus 7 raised to 2. So, we'll, so it becomes C is equal to 8.6 feet. Now in here in the triangle, you notice here that I create a triangle which is included in all the measures numbers here. So we did here is the 49 is at the little middle of the left side. So we did the number on the right side. We we added it here. We added it on the down side. So there's 160. There's 151. There's 49. Now here is the same numbers that we did so you know so that you notice here is they are the same numbers as a key see if we are read if we if we um, switch it the numbers it's the same numbers again here is the logic reasoning and the, sol and the solution how we did the value of x so again we need to find the triangle of 180 we transfer it to 4x negative 3 plus 15 x plus 1 plus 3 x is equal to minus 4 is equal to 180 now what we did is we need to solve the problem which is the easiest one and then lastly we need to find the solution and the final answer the number two is we need to have to substitute the x to the given angle measurements okay the number three is find the measures of 4 equals to 180 do we need to subtract it to 29 find the measures of 5 equals to 180 then find the measure then subtract it to 131 is equal to 49 then found, find the measures of 6 equals to 180 then subtract to 20 equals to 160 so what we did here it's the same and we copy the 180 then we get all the numbers of 29 you understand okay now here are the numbers that we need to subtract so apparently it's called phytotrolin theorem and assume that the a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 7 feet are both square root thank you so much God bless. blessed day everyone